Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to invite you into a prophetic dream the Lord gave me. I am going to declare and decree right now. Anytime God gives you a prophetic dream or prophetic unction and you believe it came from God and you're expecting it to happen, say it. And I'm going to say it right now. God is going to give me my car back. But this car will be a newer car and in mint condition. And God will bless me with the financial ability to maintain and take care of that car and pay the insurance. The car of my literal dreams. Now, I was in the recliner this afternoon having a siesta. On and off a pretty long siesta too. From about 3 in the afternoon till about 8.30 at night. Anyway, so what happened was, I'm all snuggled up in my blanket, right? And I notice I'm, in, I'm dreaming now, and I notice in the dream I'm feeling a little cool. So I look up, and I'm like, okay, I'm sleeping in the car. I look up, and I go to the window. I mean, I look through the window, and I notice showers. I said, no wonder I'm chilly. It's cool outside and it's raining. Let me close the windows. Now, the rain was a sweet rain. It was a soft shower. And anytime I'm underwater and I don't get wet, that's a good sign. So, water's coming down. I wind the windows up and I get all snuggled up under my blanket. The music is playing, and I'm listening to all this sweet, soft music, and it's worship songs and praise songs to the Lord. Beautiful. So, as time goes on, and I mean, it was, it felt like I had spent an hour in that car at least. It starts getting dark. So I said, okay, let me get on inside. I'm trying to make a long story short because I can go on and on with details, but I don't want to get caught up in the details of the dream. That can be boring. Anyway, so I start to head into the house, and I said, let me look back at the car. This is almost too good to be true. I got my town car back. So I look at the car to check the license plate. And when I looked at the license plate, it was not my license plate. And I said, uh-oh, I better go in the car and make sure it's not someone else's. So I open the door, and I get ready to reach in the glove compartment, and I see my pocketbook on the floor. So I pick the pocketbook up, and I look inside, and it's all my stuff, my keys, car keys, everything. I said, oh, it is my car. In the name of Jesus. Anyway, so I get out of the car. And I go inside. My niece is cooking something. I walk up to her in the kitchen. I said, Peggy, Peggy, please tell me. Am I dreaming? Is this a dream? Or is this real? Is this real? I mean, I don't know. I mean, is this real? And she's like, it feels real to me. And I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. So then I asked the lady something about a detail of something I dreamt that I dreamt in the car, in the dream. And one detail was off, only one, but it was off. So I said, okay, I better double check with on the phone. I better call somebody and double check and make sure this is not a dream. And I went to pick up the phone because I keep numbers in my mind. And I was going to try to figure out, now, who was I going to call? And when I went to figure out who I was going to call, I'm all wrapped up in my blanket again, all snuggled up. Same blanket, all snuggled up and warm. And I looked around. No car window. My living room. That was a dream. I mean, I'm processing big time, right? I thought about all the other dreams that God had given me in the past. You'll hear that in the other video. <coughs> and I realized 
I had a prophetic dream. And this bad boy is going to come true. And I started crying. And I said, Lord, you know I appreciate the card that I got from Pat. You know that. You know it's a blessing to be able to be free again and be on the road when I want to be on the road. You know that. You gave me the dream of being on the road in a car that I did not have to go to a dealership to get. You showed me that. But now, you showed me the town car. Now I'm in a car. You showed me the town car now. Now I expect to be in the town car next. I don't know when you're going to make it happen. But I thank you now for it. Because you're going to make it easy for me with my little low income. You're going to work a miracle. And I expect that. And I thank you for letting me know it in advance. Now I have something else to look forward to, you guys. I'm going to have my car back. Mm, mm, mm. It was the same color as my old car. It was it was ivory on the inside. Ivory leather. Everything was the same except everything was in mint condition. It was I knew it wasn't an old 2003. I knew this baby was a newer car. So, that's what I'm expecting. I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know how God's going to get a car to me. But I thank him that I won't have car payments. Somehow, listen you guys, it's either going to be free or it might as well be when I get through getting it. It's going to be something ridiculous, a beautiful blessing. And I thank God for it. It was the only time in my life, you guys, that I felt like daddy's little princess in my whole life. And I, I, I was a daddy's girl because I had a wonderful father. But when it comes to God, that was the time in my life he made me feel like daddy's little princess. Anyway, I just look forward to good news.